So from this pool of notes, we're now going to look at more scales beyond just the scale of C major. So let's take a different tonic this time. Let's take A as our tonic instead of C. If we start there and play all the notes that we now know belong to C major, we get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So by taking A as our new tonic, what we see is that we actually still use all the same notes, but now we've got a different pattern of tones and semitones. We get A to B is a tone, B to C is a semitone, C to D is a tone, D to E is a tone, E to F is a semitone, F to G is a tone, G to A is a tone. Now this is called the natural minor scale, and we'll talk more about this next week, or also the Aeolian mode. It's still a diatonic scale because it still has seven notes with five tones and two semitones, but they have a different sequence of tones and semitones now, as opposed to the major scale. Now many of you may have heard of modes, especially if you visit a lot of rock guitar websites, so we'll briefly look at those now. See, one of the amazing things about music is that simply by reorientating ourselves around these notes of C major, we can create different patterns and different kinds of melodies. So for instance, this may be the wrong time of year for you, but... God rest you merry gentlemen and merry Christmas if it is Christmas. I think you can hear that that is different from the old Lang Syde, the twinkle twinkle little star or God save the queen or something else like that. And that is because I was orientating that melody around the A, around that Aeolian mode that we just saw up on the stave. So the relationship of the tones and semitones between the tonics changed and this is how we get a different flavour, we get a different quality. Well, we already know that starting on C, we have our C major scale. If we go up to D, this is the second note of C major. We get a mode called the Dorian mode. It's made up of the notes D, E, F, G, A, B, C, back to D. This gives us a different pattern and a different sound. Okay, again, if we move up to the E, that's the third degree of C major. So if we build a mode, on the third degree, it's called the Phrygian mode. In this case, we have E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And again, that obviously gives us a different pattern of tones and semitones. And again, that changes the flavor or the quality of the mode. Starting on F, we get F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, which is now called the Lydian mode. Then on to G, which is the fifth degree. If we start uh, this process on the fifth degree, we get something called the Mixolydian mode. We get G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This has got a very similar pattern of tones and semitones to the major scale, but it is slightly different. So again, we get a different sound, a different flavour, what we would describe as a different quality. We've already looked at A, which we know is called the Aeolian mode. Moving on to B, we get the notes B, C, D, E, F, G, A, back to B. This one is now known as the Locrian mode. And so that's all seven notes. There's a lot of information to take in, but we have given you some exercises and some additional information in the supplementary material for this lecture. So there you have the modes. The names we just gave you are the 20th century names for them. Um, they're often described as the church modes, and indeed many of them were used in ancient church music. You'll also find them around the world. They were popular in jazz from the late 50s onwards. So often used in popular music. The kind of names that you'll find listed for them in things like guitar websites or guitar player magazines or jazz theory textbooks. But what's really important is if you can find a keyboard or you have your own instrument or you sing, what would be really good is if you could just take the major scale and start this pool of notes on each tonic. So C to C, 
D to D, E to E. You get used to the sound and the, the quality of these different modes. And we've heard how when I did that God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, that was a different sound. Just to show you that it really does make a difference, we're going to now do a little piece of modal music. This one is going to be orientated around G, which makes it the Mixolydian mode. The fifth degree. <laughs> slightly jazzy version of She Moved Through the Fair, which is built on the G Mixolydian. Mixolydian is built on the fifth degree of the major scale. <laughs> 